All right, Ryan. I put it off long enough. <laughs> the floor is yours for I'm your headline. So excited for your headliner. So a certain gameplay trailer dropped this past week for a. I don't want to say much anticipated because I don't think that that's actually true. Um, uh, a very curious uh, sequel to Destiny. So Destiny 2 gameplay trailer event. And it was an event. It was like a it was an hour. Hour and 15 minute long stream or something like that yeah. that they did. Um, including uh, people at the event were able to play um, versions of the game um, on PS4 as well. Can we come as back to PC, those people? Which we'll talk about. I was like, can we come back to those but, people in a bit? Because they bothered me. But go ahead. Sure. <laughs> um, uh, so. So this is our first look at Destiny 2. Um, so a couple of the big things. So we had a great, we had an awesome Slack. I, I was like. It was, it, was, it was a pre-E3 moment for sure. It was. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I was cracking up. It was so fantastic. But um, so some of the big things. Um, so there's going to be one singular, one raid. That's going to be in here. There one. is one new strike. <laughs> they kept one. throwing this number out, and it was just like, really? The like, most raids in a Destiny game ever. One, one raid. But, okay, but the same amount of planets as Destiny One. Wait, four uh, planets. Shit. Four. Yeah, and one of them is Earth. <laughs> just a different place yeah. on Earth. We're not going to also throw in the old place just because we have it mainly ready to go. Oh, dear, blah, blah. Content. Content. So, yeah. Give me content. Yeah, so, I want to play your game. Give me some of it. <laughs> so there's some new... There's some new each, each class is getting a new subclass. Yeah. Um, Dawnblade looks... Just ridiculous that, and fun. That's the aerial um, throw the blade. The, that's the it, throw, throw your, throw your the, sword, fire sword, and is the, everything. Is that the warlock, though? Actually, I have no idea what class yeah. you play. For some reason, uh, I assumed you Titan. were. I assumed you were. No, Titan, Titan is the one that's getting the, the shield. Cap, cap shield. Yeah. Um, Arc Strider is the other one, which. Hunter. Yeah. I think that's. Yeah. So. I actually don't know what you played, but we'll get back. We'll get to that, but. I don't know what your uh, class yeah. is. So, so that's good. I mean, that's to be expected. Yeah, yeah. Um, Check it off the off the to do list. Yeah. So they redid they redid weapon slots, which I thought was an interesting move. So in Destiny One, you basically had like your like light, medium, heavy slots. Mm-hmm. Um, they did away with those, and now there is, and I'm not going to remember all of them. There's kinetic, there's energy, and there's Power, power, yeah. Is the third one? Aren't those, yeah. Aren't those all words um, for energy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know my physics all that well. To, but. to prove their point that you can wield, it's not so much power is basically going to be rocket launchers, sniper rifles, anything that does heavy amounts of damage. Okay. Um, the stuff that was always so you heavy were weapons. light on ammo for. <laughs> um, but the the difference now is that you can basically have a kinetic pistol and a uh, uh, energy pistol, so you can have two pistols at the same time. Whereas in Destiny One, you can only have one wait, pistol. Wait. Is, and... this, is this Halo Two? And we can do wield yeah. now. <laughs> can we do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be how, if you can akimbo. But uh, how overpowered is my pistol? <laughs> Deathmatch. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but you know, they're 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 trying to make it so that you can have more combinations. Basically, they said our goal is that you're using the gear you want to use. Uh, more often, which I think is a good move. Um, so they did talk about that there is going to be a raid at launch, which Destiny 1 had no raid at launch, but it was like a week or two after launch that, that they put in the first raid. Um, there is going to be new... Um, new um, what, they're not events, they're activities, Advent- I guess. Adventures. When you're adventures. Adventures, yeah. yep. So there's going to be uh, treasure maps and this new thing called Lost Sectors um, and adventures that you can do while you're on patrol on a planet. Uh, one of the great things that they announced is that you do not have to go up into orbit every single time you want to change what you're doing. So 
hopefully that means that we are spending more time playing Destiny and less time looking at our ships that don't matter at all. Hey, I <laughs> mean, sweet ride. Uh, little and can play more. Of this little game, quality but. of life improvements in that game will go a long way. I will give them. Yes. That. Yep. Um, I did see that light levels are back uh, as they were um, from the people who are playing it. Um, leveling will be there too for the first. Be, you know the first part of the game uh there's going to be more cinematics in this game than any other destiny game before it <laughs> fuck they threw that around story. a lot like fuck them <laughs> fuck them they <laughs> that, they kept throwing that out of like more than any was, and, and, and I, I i think i said during our I chat they, i was like do they forget that there's only one destiny game like I feel do like they, they think they said there's like, some other destiny game out there i said something about like <laughs> more more maps or more like you know a bigger gameplay space than any bungee game before it was like well all your games before that were narrative driven and then you've got destiny and it wasn't big enough you've told me nothing <laughs> you continue to tell me nothing <laughs> and yeah. I, I say this and i say i i don't mean to come across negative because i am genuinely excited but like it just i'm coming from a place of it's so close to being awesome and you're you're not you're not giving me that last no, push but- you know what? I want to get to what you what you were going to dodge really quick. I just want to get to this really fast. Well, not really fast, but I want to get to it now. And that <laughs> is when they said that, our reaction was, ha, 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 that's stupid. <laughs> you haven't made that many Destiny games to say things like that. Yes. But the fans in the audience <sighs> were like, yeah. Why were they not <laughs> laughing? Because that was a hilarious joke. Because like that was my <laughs> like that was my problem. Like, oh, did you guys not get that? That's a joke because they haven't done shit yet. Like, this isn't anything. What they're saying is hilariously stupid because it does not matter. And, like, and I don't doubt yeah. that. Like the the PR people or the the people they put on stage for this game that are still with the Destiny team aren't aware of that shit. Like, they're very self aware of. You know, this game got a lot of criticism. They got a lot of shit thrown their way because, I mean, and, it, sure and it's it a is. weird, and it, it's always in a weird position because it still did so well and fans want to, it comes from a, it hasn't crossed that line where fans are offended by the game. They just want it to be better. And it's, but it's very aggressive. Like, there are, yeah. you know, it's not, it didn't cross the line that Andromeda did where people were just turned on the game. Like, it, it was definitely towing that line. But there's still so so much fan support that they like it came from a positive place, even though it was communicated in a negative way. So they're well aware of that. It's just like they kept, they kept hitting those lines in that presentation, and we we were just like rolling our eyes at it and then laughing. And then and then like you said, like I'm like, so how much of this crowd is made up of like? Did they hand out seventy five percent of their tickets to just hardcore Destiny players that have logged, you know? 500 hours in this game and then some press or like i guess my reaction was yeah. what cuz i was following a few of uh, the game journalists that i follow uh and and saw they were all going to this event and i expected a press reaction and this was this was a fan event and mm-hmm. the st- the stuff that they were getting excited for it was just like no they haven't you know like they've checked off all the boxes and everything sounds good on paper. And, and, and one thing we didn't really address is like, I'm excited that they, they nailed my initial complaint from the game, which was there's no story to care about. I think they, it looks like they're fixing that. There's at least a yeah. grounded foundation yeah. to give a shit about what's going on in the destiny universe and things make sense. And we can have some progression building off of that. That, that looks yeah. great. The lore looks like they, they've, they've solved that problem. They have not solved the, the content problem. I hope unless that adventure, the adventure stuff really it feels much more dynamic than they led me to believe because I'm not convinced that there's enough varied play areas to experience that repetitive content in. That's my concern. Yeah, and 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 they you know obviously have not announced any year one plans at all. Um which even when they do announce them, we're all going to take with a very massive grain of salt to see if they can actually you know if they fix their their pipeline issues that they were having and that they can kick out new gear i did see that within the first week uh or so after the game launches they plan to have a um it was was it either it was either trials or it was the um 
Oh, what was the one with the wolves? The elders thing? I don't remember what that thing's called. Uh, Osiris? Never, Prison of Elders? Like, no, Prison yeah. of yeah. Elders is a thing. Uh, I, think, I think they're planning on having something like that, yeah. which... They made cool by the end of D1. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, they actually did some good stuff with that. So I hope that they do follow through with that. But yeah, I'm with you. Um, I think they're doing good things with the story. I think um, it's weird that they were saying something to the effect of most cinematics, which doesn't mean anything because just because you're showing pretty videos doesn't mean there's a story worth caring about there it's like um so it's a stupid metric that doesn't mean anything right um it's like a marketing but team i hope marketing team just got a hold of them and made them say certain phrases that they knew were not gonna work but were technically correct <laughs> like it was just it was weird yeah More nathan fillion as cade actually I was, right. I was surprised by that i mean they honestly had, they uh they downplayed cade and this this promotion versus the trailers before were yeah, all yeah about versus Cade. before yeah uh, yeah they the had teaser more, they the had teaser more, with Kate is awesome they had a lot more Lati- Lieutenant Daniels in this which is good because I think he's he's the center for that and you let the other two play off of that but um, and I love that guy too he's been in so much good yeah. stuff but um, I will say like yeah it just doesn't they haven't addressed my concern of like tell me that you addressed your pipeline problems at you will be able to pump out more content quickly going forward. Like I want this to be, I will, th- I will throw out destiny one. I will throw out the 120 plus hours I spent with destiny one. This is the weird part about this. I was just think about this. I think they were, they said something to the effect that this is the biggest destiny. Like basically they made it sound like this is De- vanilla destiny plus the taken King and bigger like content wise. We've got it. We've got that, mm-hmm. which to me is that's the suggestion. Yeah. That's like 60 to a hundred hours out of the box, which that's great. But I'm like, I'm reacting this way because I would, I would like to spend hu- multiple hundreds of hours with your game. So give me reasons yeah. to do that. So that's, yeah. that's, it sounds weird, but that's like, that's where I'm coming from. And I think if they come back and they say, uh, you know, we'll have a second, raid a la vault of glass coming out you know yeah yeah four to six months after release like i'll be like okay all right i can do this stuff for that much time but like they need to really like yeah their year one to plan talk- needs to be they need to talk to the wow s- team and and how they <laughs> like they they let their community know what's also coming after that like they were like especially the latest expansion, they were right on that next patch. There's like, here's the next big raid content, and and follow that up. But Aaron, I'd like to give you the floor for a second. Sorry, we've been we've been yep. jabbering on, but um, <laughs> you know where we stand. Uh, what was yeah? Where are you coming from? I'm looking forward to seeing Destiny Two sitting next to my Hearthstone install in the Blizzard. Oh, nice. App. We'll, we'll get <laughs> there. Call. We'll get there. Good call. <laughs> Let's go there. Why this... can't we? Can we go there? I that, mean, we can. I, I, I wanted to get. I, I did want to hear Aaron. I wanted oh yeah, to hear okay. your impression just of like, of just gameplay, game is- like, like the stuff that you saw, like, like you know, the new subclasses, that kind of stuff. Like, like where do you see yourself at? You know, at launch. Um, you know, how much time do you think you're going to put into it? Like, is it something that you're still worried about? <sighs> it's such a tough position being a uh, impending father. <laughs> yeah gosh like weeks after <laughs> yeah. this game or weeks before really this Good game point. comes out and so i've already thought i've played a lot of destiny i know how i played destiny destiny 2 kind of like what you said justin this looks like destiny 1 and all of its dlc with a better you know way of life about it mm-hmm. just this stuff's fixed we've got our kind of matchmaking now you've got your clans you can do all the stuff you're all your friends we want to keep you connected keep, get you in the game fuck going to orbit stay on, <laughs> feet on the ground and i'm like oh that's great but why is this destiny 2 when it could just be new like why is this not just being slammed into destiny 1 more content make this I, better i own that game i will i would pay the price of a new game to say Here's all Destiny 2's content in one, but they want to start me over, and I, it's I have not made that leap over the cliff of does it make sense for me to try to play this game I like, as a new dad? I like that you said that as from a just a consumer level because I've been so empathetic to the developer side of things, just hearing their nightmares about their development tools that it sounded like no, they needed to like 
build a new foundation and make a break. So, uh, yeah, sure. So I kind of, I kind of get why we're starting fresh, but no, it's, I mean, it's totally fair from somebody you've put in hundreds of hours into, uh, destiny and just like that work going for not going for not like losing that, that famed wolf cloak that we always talk about, like, <laughs> <Coop>. <laughs> you know, it's, it's an easy joke, but also like, that's a, that's a, a memory of yours. And, and like, it took a lot of time to accomplish and, yeah. um, and that's being taken away and I can joke about it, but it's just like, I can joke about it. If this does provide a pipeline for a lot more content, a lot more quickly, like, just this, yeah, this, this could be definitive destiny. Mm-hmm. Everything before could have been seen as like the beta, a really long beta yeah. that we mm-hmm. thought was a real thing. This is the real game now. This is what we intended the first time around. But I have to start over. And if it's if it's all of what I experienced when playing Destiny, but now it's the better version, that's that's a there's a hill there still. Like, ah. I mm-hmm. get I get your game. I liked your game before. I want your game to be better. Now that it is, I've already put a bunch of time into it. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I mean, also, like, for me, like, there's kind of the fear that, like, they're going to get into this weird, like, Madden-esque release cycle of, like, oh, well, here's Destiny 3 instead of us coming up with, like, a solid, like, year two or year three plan. Yep. You know, like, 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 putting that up against uh, our beloved Rocket League, which have said, we have no plans of making a sequel. Like, we like the platform we've built, and we plan on continuing to add and refine to it, but we're not going to just put out another sequel. Uh, So, like, there is a little bit of a fear there with Bungie that, like, they'll just push that that reset button again if they're like, ah, well, things aren't going too great. Let's just reset it. Yeah, I'd be, um, so yeah. I'd totally be done, but that's it's a that's a fair fear for sure. Like, yeah, like I don't know, I don't know why I'm so accepting of this because I just feel like, I well, I think I have a, I think I have a clue. No, it has it's nothing called, to do with the platform. Called... It has nothing to do with the platform. Oh, come on, <laughs> you just ruined my segue. You can make, you you can make that leap in a bit. You can make that leap in a bit, but like there was something about. Just how we how weird the story was at the launch of Vanilla Destiny that just like I just it what story exactly yeah, it just seriously. felt like no no but in moments it was super deep like it was just oh, like yeah. they're talking about Glimpses. shit like you're you're supposed to know what this is and it's just like what has happened and like they, that's when a little banner appeared at the bottom of the screen <sighs> saying check your grimoire go to the website grimoire. to read no. what happened yeah. uh, and which is dead happened. did you yeah, hear that, no. that shit's dead. They're yeah. killing it. They the, burn it. All going the, the grimoire is no more. Is it unofficial? They is said, it not canon anymore? It's just like we're moving on, or are they opening no, it into no, the game? No, no, no. Bungie specifically said we're not going to make you leave the game okay. and go that, somewhere that's... else to figure out the lore. We're yeah. going to actually put we it play, in the game. We played Mass Effect and realized you can put that. <laughs> <laughs> We've played. <sighs> that, that's. I think that's my other problem with Destiny Two is that so much of it, of this is hey look. We brought clan support to our game. Like, great! It should have been there to begin yep. with. Yeah. Oh, hey, mm-hmm. look, we brought that was we brought a uh, uh, guided guided gaming. That's a thing now. It's like <laughs> people were doing that without you, and now you've just built it into yeah, your game. Now it's like, there. Like, ha- ha- like half of you're their, not innovating. Half of their press conference felt like you know pat us on the back for doing what we should have done. A quarter of it was promises of a, of a few new things, and then a quarter of it was just oblivious, obliviousness to what the actual problem was and not addressing it. So, like, yeah, yeah I mean, it sounds like a better destiny, but <clears throat> fulfill that potential because it's there, man. It's 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 what that's why we're talking about it in this in this feverish fashion. Like, yeah, like it's. I mean, they okay. can knock this out of the park yeah. now, but. They're they're just being really weird about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I <laughs> yeah. blame Activision. But uh, okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> Destiny Two <laughs> is coming to the PC, which we already knew. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the there's two big things about the PC release. No, three big things about the PC release that came out because of this. Uh, I'm gonna save the coolest one for last. So the first one, the PC version will run at 60 frames per second plus. So it can run beyond 60 frames per second if you have the hardware to do it. 9,000 frames. So the demo units that they had 
um, at this event were running on 1080 Ti's and they were running at 60 frames per second, but not in full ultra. They had to turn some things down. So hmm. this game is a beast. Um, so that's one thing to consider. But they said if you're running that sweet uh, SLI 1080 Ti rig, you you know, sky's the limit. Run this game as fast as you can run it. Um, that is uh, in in um, uh, I don't even know what the word I'm trying to figure out is counter to the PS4 Pro, which is what they brought uh, to this event, which is going to be locked at 30 frames per second because they yeah. could not get it to run at 60. Uh, that's a big deal. Like this, is. like like Destiny is the kind of game where you notice that difference. Um, I think the sixty frames per thing gets it gets a little overhyped sometimes, but I think, I think it's a this is one deal of the games. Like multiplayer games. That's why I'm not like an yeah, and I'm basically well, no, sorry, multiplayer competitive games and a co op multiplayer experience. This is a multiplayer competitive game. Right, but not how we're going to play. There's a whole PvP element that yes. we talked about in <laughs> the, the crucible. presentation that, <laughs> that is none important of us to this get, game. That, don't pretend that any of the three of us give a shit about it. No, but that doesn't mean <laughs> that it I doesn't mean. matter that's to what, somebody. That's where I'm coming from. The Iron Banner kept my wolf cloak from me. <laughs> See? See? There you go. Uh, no, but but I think I think it is a big deal that it's coming to the PC and the PC is... Um, for all practical purposes, the best version of the game, like the the one that's going to run the best. Now, um, the Scorpio could change that because there's been a lot of stuff about how powerful the Scorpio is going to be. So, in theory, I heard about Terra could... flops. I don't know about you. <laughs> you got it. You got to flop the Terras. Um, so, in, in in theory, it could run at 60 frames per second on that console as well. Um, but they're doing a bunch of stuff with Sony. There's going to be some exclusive content, I think, for PS for when it launches but uh but just interesting that the pro not even just the ps4 like the pro can't run it at 60 frames per second so um it's a bu- that, it's a bummer would be something. but the way that sony built that thing i'm not actually surprised <laughs> like i don't i don't put <laughs> no. i guess i don't put that blame on bungie and in, in, in that i was just like sony half ass that shit no for sure i agree with you i think it's more just like what has been a very traditional console game maker uh, for them to be, you know, putting, putting this out on the PC, which is great. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited about that. Yes. Um, but also for the P- PC version, not to be, you know, they could have easily said, Oh, we're just, we're just capping the game at 30 frames per second across right. the board yeah. because that's as fast as it will run on that PS4 pro. And we don't want them to look bad. So we're just going to leave it there. Like they're like, no, PC version, if you can run it fast, run it fast. We don't care. Run it at 4K at 60 frames per second. We don't care. That's fine. I think that's great. And I'm, I'm glad that's the that right Bungie way to do it. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I mean, uh, it, okay. I mean, going back to that pat pat your back, pat, pat yourself on the back scenario, they kind of had to, but it's awesome that they are. Like, like if they had done, no, see, they had done no, anything less. No, I disagree with you. I disagree with you. My And I would say... The reason I disagree with you is Near Automata. Near Automata still has a game. This is Bungie like, and Activision. Crippling they're crippling. They're not patch. I know, but still, I'm saying the like a, PC version of console games has traditionally got shafted. Ye- like that's just been yeah. what has uh, Western happened. Develop, I don't know. Like I get where you're coming but still, from. But I still feel like that. Compared to Near, is a Japanese development problem but it's, it, it, it's the it's the pc thing so but you say that but now we're gonna get to point number two right. and that is that the pc version is not releasing on september 8th eh. the pc version is most likely going to trail behind the console version they haven't given us an official date but hey, the maybe fact the rate will be out. not is not a good sign <laughs> the rate um, will release before the so, so when i reread when step. i reread that it made it sound like it's going to trail behind at launch but going forward They'll get their shit together. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I think once they get it out there, yeah. it'll be linked up. But but the fact that it's not going to be launched simultaneously is a problem because, even though you joke, it's because of the stupid raid. It's because PC players will not get to go discover the raid mechanics 
for themselves without there being a million YouTube videos, a million console players who had already done it on console are going to come into PC and be like, oh, you just do this. Um, I think it's hmm. a bummer. That's a drag. Like, it won't matter so much for me. I'm not worried about myself because I'll just ignore that stuff and I won't. I won't consume it. Like I want to keep that thing fresh for yeah. hopefully when we actually do it. It's, um, it sucks that this is the but norm. It's a bummer. Yeah, it sucks that this is the norm now. Of like, we can't day and date our PC release because it's hard. So it's gonna be. Which it's gonna be a couple is weeks. Mind boggling to me. But- but it's better you're than building reli- it on a freaking computer. Like you're building it on the thing yeah. that you can't deliver on <laughs> makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense. No sense. I mean, it's it's no, it doesn't. They could they. It makes. Could you imagine? I'm a web developer, and I'm like, I'm going to develop this thing, and I'm developing it on the web, but you know what? The web's going to trail behind, because this app version is the more important version. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, of course it should be good on the thing that I'm developing it on. It should run on that thing flawlessly, but... Ba- Batman Arkham Knight fucking sucked on PC when that game <laughs> wait, came wait. out. Wait, was that past tense? Or is that present tense? Because I think that should still be present tense. Is it still, it's bad? still present tense? I have no idea. Bad. There's a reason. There's a reason <laughs> that WB did not release Injustice Two on PC because they don't know how to fucking work. Yeah, they don't know how to build these games anyway. <laughs> and I know I I, hey. I, I want to make sure that I say this. I know that I'm very I'm preventing a very simplistic version of development, and that really this has to do with QA resources, and they want to put all of them towards PlayStation and, and the Microsoft hard, hardware variety of the PC platform versus the yes the and there are all kinds of weird things so, yeah. i know that i know that and nobody writes us so it doesn't matter but if you did write us about it i know i get it but i still think it's dumb it sucks and it sucks especially when you're saying this is the first time that this game is coming to pc it's the first time any destiny game has been on pc <laughs> is it the first <laughs> is it the first time that bungie has released a pc game because weren't they a no, no. Were, no. were, weren't they a Mac? No. Weren't they a Mac game developer? Wasn't that what Marathon and Halo was supposed I to Halo be? One, Halo, I thought Halo One was, was on PC. ported by Gearbox. Halo, Gearbox. Yeah, it got. That's yeah, the only reason later. I knew who Gearbox was because they ported Halo One. Yeah, but I Bungie proper. Did Bun- Bungie didn't make any of the Halo Wars games, did uh-uh. they? No? I don't think Bungie proper hmm. has. I could be wrong. I don't think they have released a PC game. Not that it matters in 2017 because whatever that team was in the Mac development years isn't. the Team, but you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Like it's yeah. just op, but PC optimization that's a bear. But also, go all in, man. Make do the day and date stuff. Like it, if any game should be able to hit it, it should be Destiny. You have the resources yeah. at Blizzard, Activision. But what I will go back to to our earlier argument about them also like releasing some shitty version of it, or you assuming that it would be like a shitty port if it's going on the fucking Blizzard app, like alongside mm. o- point number three right <laughs> <laughs> alongside the likes of overwatch which is so scalable that people are still confounded by why we can't have cross-platform play for a for a first person shooter uh, a competitive first person shooter across consoles and pc like if the blizzard's somewhere somehow That's involved a- Des- destiny ain't it's not going to be some shitty port they're going to get it right when it does come out but like, I guess, I guess I say that from that never even entered in my mind that we're gonna get a shitty version on the PC. We're gonna, we're gonna yeah. get, we're gonna get it's, that unlo- that that frame rate unlocked and just use as many resources as you can. It's gonna be optimized to shit compared to like, you know, Ubisoft PC games. Like this thing's gonna run, this mm-hmm. thing's gonna run well. This, but uh, um, I think that I think the fact that it is going to be in the Hold on a second, because is it the Blizzard app or is it Battle.net? <laughs> because we got a Blizzard employee still saying Battle.net. <laughs> that video had to be what old What the hell? hell? <laughs> what are you doing to us, Blizzard? Like, just call it whatever the crap it is. But, like, come on. Like, give us, throw us a bone And here. also, anyway, Battle.net's a better name. It Battle.net is. Is, is... The Blizzard app. It's timeless, man. It's so great. Yeah. Anyway, um... 
to be in the list of games that is in that in that list, like games that have been just solid. Like I may have, I have never installed a game in that app and thought, oh, this might crash on day one. No. I've been refreshing it, just waiting to see the Destiny 2 like to see it pop up. <laughs> but it's not there. But, it's not there but yet. Like, oh, nope. wait, 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 there's just checking. a history, like like those games are, you know, obviously Blizzard understands how to develop for this platform. This platform is where they make their money this is this is their bread and butter but like for them to put that game in there like it cannot crash like it cannot do those things it needs to perform like any other blizzard title yep and and that is a high bar like that is not that's not just well it's like any game on steam you know who the hell knows it might run it might not (laughs) who knows uh no this is like you're putting yourself against you know wow who's got you know just decades of lineage on this thing diablo which has just been you know on there for forever like this like you're putting yourself up against some amazing titles not only in a technical stability standpoint but also just like just like story and and lore and like yeah, man presentation you're, putting, you're yeah. putting yourself up against the best in the business so I'm that gonna, exists in blizzard i'm cutting a highlight clip of this one because it's our more of our featured conversation but also two so we have a, we have this to compare to when uh call of duty whatever next year's game is is also on the blizzard app Oh my god! I'm just saying we not we open an Activision blasphemy. We open an Activision door. <laughs> What's next to bust through? This is disgusting. Well, you really bummed me out. I was like, I was like, I was feeling okay, and now I mean, I'm really no, bummed. No, we we laughed because I think you. I don't know. I'm assuming Ryan, you saw the same negative reaction that I did on Twitter when that was announced. Like it was more, it was more negative than Man. positive, and we're and we were super stoked. <laughs> like, yeah, like this is no. I was so pumped. Yeah, because because what we both said is great. Now we're gonna get Activision game farts. I don't know whatever the <laughs> hell they're gonna call their app. And now I have another thing that I have to oh, manage okay. another yeah. library and another set of friends through. Yeah. And, God, I don't want that. I don't want that. And so then it was like, yeah, oh, we're we gonna put it. We're gonna put it on Battle.net. And I was like, what? Yeah, that's the one that. thing I thought wasn't possible. Yeah. Yeah. It's that you're going to do, and that's awesome. I figured for sure this is gonna go to Steam. I thought, it was just and be that'll Steam. be fine. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, oh, sweet Blizzard. Like, we love Battle.net. We love their voice chat. We love the client. Everything works really well. That's great. And then I start seeing these articles, and people are like, oh, it's not gonna be on on multiple PC platforms like Steam. That's a real bummer. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking? Yeah. about? What game is? <laughs> like what? <laughs> show me the example of where this is ex- okay there's some things that exist on origin and some things that exist on steam but even that is starting to become I mean, yeah, like most of the EA a stuff, bygone yeah, era yeah most of the ea stuff mm-hmm. is is exclusive to origin and ubisoft right. happens to is the exception that happens to be available because they can't get away with that but like yeah activision and yeah, they don't they have to do that they don't sales. They, activision doesn't have to give valve money like, but but no, I, yeah, I, that's I, the I am, other thing. I'm curious what Steve, what Valve's reaction was to that, uh, as far as f- when they found that out. That was, uh, you know, what's really funny. Uh, I was reading an article that was talking about Destiny One development, and they were talking about how how before they were when they were in pre production for Destiny One, one of the things they did to accelerate their team being able to work on this game was they they overstaffed the Halo team at the time, so Halo Reach was currently in development while destiny one was in pre-production so they threw it just a metric ton of people at, at halo reach and uh they were talking about how <laughs> they, they were like talking about stuff on steam chat because they were like on vacation uh oh no i'm getting my stories mixed up <laughs> this is actually an overwatch <laughs> story sorry this is an overwatch story um they were talking about nerfing diva that was what i was thinking of they were talking about nerfing Diva when she became overpowered through Steam Chat, and the the director for Overwatch was like, "Yeah, Valve knows all of our secrets if they just look at all of our Steam <laughs> Chat stuff because we talk Steam about chess. all of our Overwatch stuff through that's Steam." <laughs> and I was like, "That's funny." But any sorry, uh, got my stories. Any final sorry. Destiny two thoughts before we move on? I've already pre-ordered the game. <laughs> uh, you got wow. your you got your Cade six. 
You didn't you didn't, <laughs> you mix that? Oh yeah, I pre-ordered it because I wanted the stupid uh, Kate Six action figure, but it's understandable. Um, uh, I'm still I'm still hopeful, but um. I you know I didn't play I didn't get I got Destiny after, um, yeah you missed after this. it was good, so uh, I don't care. have the same I don't have the same like you know internal negative feelings about that game, um, but I I am still a little hesitant. Uh, I hope that we don't know if we're gonna get a PC beta or not. Um, they haven't really talked about the beta at all yet. It's coming sometime this summer, um, but you know I'm 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 hopeful that that's going to be fun and that uh, that will re that will give me a false sense of hope for this game um, that, that they can crush on launch. But I hope I'm wrong about it. I hope it's great. I really do. I me really too. hope it's a great game. Um, I hope that we can have a lot of fun with it because I I think that's a good team. I think that they do shooting real well. Uh, they do real good guns. Um, I just hope they can pull off a decent story that's fun to play. Do loot right the first time. Oh, that too. I <laughs> forgot about how broken that loot was. Vanilla, vanilla, oh, yeah. vanilla loot. The worst of loot. That I, infamous. I'm fine. Fa- I'm like all of this. All of this like fear that I've been talking from. I'm gonna be fine in 2017 with Destiny 2. I'm gonna get 60 to 100 hours out of it. It's ongoing where that stuff starts to come, come come out. So I'm not. I believe them that it's going to be like I said, vanilla Destiny through Taken King amount of content, and I will play the mm-hmm. shit out of that because I, you know, yep. I took a break from Destiny last year, and we'll have a group playing. We'll have a good time. Whether it will be great or whether it will be fantastic, that remains to be seen. But I will have a good time with Destiny Two in 2017. So.